Suwi Farm is a private agricultural enterprise located at the shores of Lake Victoria in Bukawoli sub-county, Mayuge district in eastern Uganda. The farm is implementing a Hass Avocado Valley chain development project with the core mandate of supporting the Uganda Hass Avocado industry by championing the production and supply of clean and high quality grafted avocado seedlings and valley addition for the export market. Avocado is a crop that can greatly change the livelihoods of Ugandans. It is a high value crop with great demand in Europe and the Middle East. On Monday this week, we started off a journey that will see Uganda join the rest of the world's avocado producing nations. At Musubi Farm, avocado growing as a cash crop will be highly welcomed by Ugandans because it's a crop that can literally survive depending on our normal rainfall patterns. Avocado is a crop that we feel will change the livelihood of Uganda, especially the agriculture sector. It is a high value crop uh, with a lot of demand from Europe and the Middle East. Uganda has been relying majorly on food crops. And you know the, uh, you, you, you know the problems related to food crop. Whenever there is excess supply, prices usually go down. Avocado is a cash crop. It's an horticulture and it's a cash crop. Its demand internationally has been growing at a rate of 10% for the last 15 years. So we expect Uganda to be part of producers of the avocado that is demanded in the world. Most of the farm is in Maege and uh, last uh, Monday on Monday, this week, we have launched it. The farm sits on 2,500 acres and uh, we have planted avocado. Currently, it's on uh, 400 acres. And our projection in the next two years, by 2020, would have covered 1,600 acres make 2,000 acres worth of avocado. We have land in Mayuge, next to Lake Victoria. We can irrigate, but we are failing to get output out of it. Our research this time around landed us into as avocado. We, we did studies, we traveled, we traveled to Kenya. Kenya is uh, actually, as I talk, Kenya is the leading producer of avocado in the region, in Africa. Our studies revealed to us that avocado is an high value crop with huge returns. Throughout our studies, we learned that, for example, a country like Kenya produces, which produces avocado, is not produced in large scale. The farms that produce avocado in Kenya are individual, are individual farms in small scale. The income per acre pro, from avocado outweighs all the crops we have tried in our farm. For example, with sugarcane, income from, across income from an acre of sugarcane in our farm was Uganda shilling six million. Income from maize from our farm, an acre of uh, an acre of maize in our farm yielded four million. Avocado, without much care, without irrigation, a rain-fed avocado. Well, in our study, revealed to us that we can get an income of less than thirty million. So we started researching about countries that produce the demand and the trends in the world. Our research revealed to us that the leading producer of avocado is Mexico. And as of 2017, Mexico was generating income equivalent to 30% of Uganda's 
national budget. And the industry, the avocado industry in that country has not, did, has not taken 70 years yet. What I am trying to mean here is the avocado industry in this country is, I mean, it started like in 1940s. And within a cup of 70 years, it's generating income equivalent to 30% of Uganda's national budget. So in, our, in short, we saw the advantages of planting avocado, and that's why we went into avocado. Musubi Farm has got well-established nurseries that will be able to supply good quality avocado seedlings to the outgrowers and is currently in the process of forming its outgrowers association in a bid to boost its production levels as well as providing incomes to the locals engaged in avocado growing. We have established a very a nursery that has a capacity to supply over one million seedlings per year. Quality, clean, high grafted seedlings or has avocado seedlings and for You know, when you plant has, you cannot know. When you plant avocado, you cannot know that either it is has or it is another. It is not until after three years that you realize, hey, I didn't plant. So we are advocating with the government. That's why we need this body of Uganda National Avocado Grower Association. We want, we want to sit down with the ministry to come up with certifications to only qualified nurseries to supply these seedlings. So, as most of the farm, we, we are now processing the international certification, which is called GAP. And we are also, we sat down with the Minister of Agriculture, and we are zeroing our, around the issue of satisfying all our nurseries and the farm. In this case, I'm answering your question that uh, Issues about seedling, our seedlings are, because by the time we put a farm, it means that we are on that level of having high quality, because we are an example. We also recommend people not to buy any seedling to the people who are not in that business, otherwise they will lose it. And you realize it after investing in a lot of money, after three years. So, as farmers, it's, this should be, advo it should be advocated by steel farmers. As we farm in our farm, we are encouraging our growers. We are actually going to recruit our growers, uh, give good quality seedling, so that, because as I told you, the demand, the demand for the growth is growing at a percentage of 13% every year internationally. I'm talking about international demand. But the production is growing at 10%. So there is a gap between production and demand of 3%. So we, we believe even if we plant the entire Uganda, nobody can satisfy the demand.